Hi and welcome back to class of design of motion elements. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 29, We Bell Drives. The learning outcomes of this lecture is to uh, learn uh, we bell type introductions like constructions of we bell types of we bell according to the indian standard and uh, pulley dimensions and uh, also we learn in this chapters the ratio of driving tensile for the we bell drive so in previous lectures in bell drive up to this uh, we covered the uh, design of flat belt drives now we have to switch on to the v belt drive so first we start the introductions so let's start introduction so consider the figure as shown here this is the cross sections of v belt and you can see there are upper top uh, width that is denoted by small b and depth of this belt is small t there are uh, angle of groove that is denoted as 2 uh, beta and uh, you can see the constructions of v belt so v belt uh, are made of fabric and cords uh, uh, mounted or in rubber so you can see here the fabric and cords which are uh, which mounted on uh, rubbers and covered with the fabric and rubber as shown in figure so you can see that the fabric and coats uh, are covered by the fabric and the rubber cover so this is the construction of v belt and here the in, uh, angle of blue is 2 beta in uh, v belt so this uh, the inclined angle of v belt is usually from 30 degree to 40 degree so here Generally in V belt the angle uh, is considered as 30 degree to 40 degrees. The V belt drive may be inclined at any angle with tight side either at top side or uh, bottom sides. So these are the introductions regarding the how the V belt construction is shown. Now consider this V belt drive and uh, how to uh, make the V belt ties according to the standards? So there are uh, five types. So types of V belts. So according to the Indian standard, that is IS 2494-1974, the V belt are made in five types. That is a capital a capital b capital c capital d and capital e so these five types of v belt are made according to the indian standard is 2494-1974 so the dimensions of standard v belt are shown in the table so here you can see the tables which shows the dimension of a standard v belt as we know the according to the Indian standard there are five types A, B, C, D and E and the dimension of these all five types belts are shown in these tables here you can see that uh, different uh, belt uh, is uh, written in first column so there are types of belt A, B, C, D, E and according to that you can see the dimension of particular belt so if we consider the belt type A so for a belt, uh, so for a v belt, uh, power ranges is uh, in kilowatt 0.7 to 3.5, and the minimum pitch diameter of pulley, that is capital D in mm, is 75, and top width B in mm is 13, and thickness T in mm is equal to 8. Also, the weight per meter length in uh, newtons, you can say that 1.06. So, you can take the dimension from this table according to uh, Indian standards uh, IS 2494-1974. This table is prepared. So, you can take uh, a, uh, according to the type of belt, your dimension of particular belt. 
So here uh, you can say that if the tax of belt is uh, from uh, we looking for towers A to E, the power ranges uh, are increases. So type E shows the 30 to 350 kilowatt uh, power ranges. So here this is the five types for the V belt type. Now according to the V belt types, there are also uh, make the pulley dimension so you can see that figure shows the cross sections of v belt pulley and uh, the dimensions of this pulleys we have to take according to the type of belt we have to select it we selected the which type of belt according to that we have to consider the dimension of v belt pulley so dimension for the standard v groove pulley according to is 2494 1974 are shown in tables. So, as uh, shown in previous slide, there are dimensions for the V bell. Here, the dimension for the uh, V bell, uh, sorry, V pulley. So, here you can see that first column there are different types of belt A, B, C, D, E, and according to that, uh, you can see the dimension of V uh, group pulleys. So, if you consider the types E, then uh, there are W is 20, 32, D is 33, and uh, there are A is uh, 9.6, C is uh, 23.4. F is 29 and E is 44.5. Uh, the number number of slaves group in, uh, is shown as V20. So these are the uh, dimensions you can take from the standard. Now uh, next is the ratio of training tensions or the V belt. So for that consider this figure, uh, here the figure shows the cross sections uh, of V belt uh, with the V groove pulley. Here you can say that the V uh, groove angle is 2 beta and there are uh, reaction force applied according to the configuration. So V belt with the groove pulley is shown in figure here. And uh, to derive the ratio of driving and sign for the V belt, we have to consider these figures and we have to balance the force acting on this uh, particular section. So now uh, here R1 is the normal reactions between belt and the side of screw. So you can see in figure also there are the normal reactions bit, uh, between belt and the side of sides of the grooves and R is the tot uh, total reactions in the plane of groove and nu is the coefficient of frictions between belt and sides of the groove. So let's consider the section as shown in previous slide here. So uh, to derive the ratio of driving tension for the V belt, we have to equivalent this force in vertical uh, direction so uh, resolving the uh, reactions vertically to the group we have so here in uh, r is in upper directions and uh, they are perpendicular to the side of uh, side of the uh, pulleys uh, there are r1 reactions so if we have to make the vertical reactions balance if we make uh, vertical reactions uh, consider that vertical reaction that is uh, we have to balance to derive the ratio of driving and sign for the V belt. So if we consider this figure there are R in upper directions and if we consider reactions R1 and take the component in vertical directions then we get here the uh, groove angle is 2 beta so half of that is the beta and uh, we can say that uh, R1 sin beta is equal to so is equal to the vertical force. So uh, it is that R1 sine beta is acting in downward directions and R is upward directions. So R is equal to R1 sine beta plus R1 sine beta. There are two sides reactions R1 R1. So R1 sine beta plus R1 sine beta. That is equal to 2 R1 sine beta. Now 
according to this we can say that r is equal to sorry r is equal to 2r r1 sin beta so r1 is equal to r upon 2 sin beta so this is the reaction force uh, normal to the uh, sides of v well, uh, v group pulleys now uh, we know that the friction force so normally f is equal to mu r but in these conditions we have according to our conditions frictional force is equal to 2 nu into r1 here we have to place the value of r1 that is equal to r divided by 2 sin beta so if we place the value of r1 in our equation that is 2 nu r1 so we get the frictional force is equal to nu r divided by sin beta uh, so if we take 1 upon sin beta is equal to cosec beta so we get the frictional force is equal to nu r cosec beta so this is the frictional force for the v uh, v bell so it is v nu r cosec beta now uh, consider a small portion of the belt as shown in figures here. Here the substanding angle is delta uh, theta and there will be tension on one side is equal to H that uh, will be capital T and uh, on other side tension will be uh, T plus delta T. So here we get the frictional resistance equal to the nu r cosec beta. So normally it's against nu r. Normally frictional resistance is nu r. So here in B belt we get the frictional resistance equal to nu r cosec beta against nu r. So thus uh, the relations between T1 and T2 for the B belt drive will be 2.3 log T1 divided by T2 is equal to nu theta into cosec beta. So in we uh, in flat band drives we know that the relations between T1 and T2 and it is uh, a 2.3 uh, log T1 by T2 is equal to nu theta. But in this case uh, we have a ratio in uh, is equal to 2.3 log T1 by T2 is equal to nu theta cosec beta because our resistance in V belt uh, frictional resistance in V belt is nu r cosec beta against nu r so we get the uh, re ratio of driving tension for the v bell according to this equation so in these lectures we learn the basics of v belt uh, like construction types of v belts and dimensions of pulley according to the types of bell and also we learn the ratio of driving tension for the v bell thank you